What is up everybody? Welcome into this new video Tech Express. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you in a very easy and fast way how you can get your own portfolio using Canva totally for free so you can use this portfolio to get a work right now. So in order to get started guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description of the actual Canva Pro so you can check it out for the next 30 days totally for free. I'm going to be using a few tools of Canva. So this Canva Pro has like a little bit more actually has like tons of designs that we can use uh, with the Canva Pro version. So if you still want to have the free version, Canva has a lot of tools still uh, as a free version on the actual uh, Canva app. So let's go and focus into Canva.com. What I wanted to do is to go for create a design. But first of all, if I wanted to get started with an actual portfolio, let's try to use some templates. So instead of choosing create a design, let's go and focus into a template into the left part. And here it says the templates I wanted to look out for my keyword, which in my case is portfolio. So the more accurate and precise that you're looking for, the best. So for example, I'm going to type here in portfolio. And as you can see, we do have a lot of elements that we can choose here. So once again, I just, I'm just i telling you guys that this actual Canva Pro has like a lot of designs that we can use with this uh, plan. And it's actually like really, really great. So if you like what you're seeing here, just click the, let's say for example, that I choose this guy, this design, and hit into continue. So as you can see, this portfolio looks like for a graphic designer in my uh, point of view, I think this one is actually looking really, really basic. But if you liked it, just go into customize the template. In my case, I'm going to be using a little bit something more creative. Let's say, for example, I'm going to scroll a little bit down more and look out for something um, like this, for example. Let's say that we are a marketing portfolio cover page. So once I find the elements that I wanted to use, I'm going to hit into customize the template. And this one should be taking me into the design editor of this portfolio. So all of the fonts, all of the images, the pictures, the colors, the palettes, everything is going to be imported into the editor. So what is left to be done is to start by importing our actual elements. So what I can totally suggest to you is to go into your file explorer. And here what you want to do is to look out for some documents. And here into document, let's say for example that I wanted to create a new folder. What I wanted to do, let's say import something like portfolio and in here what I wanted to do is to drag and drop all my work all my feature work specifically speaking about images uh, if you wanted to add like a video like a banner everything you wanted to add this in here and then later on we're going to be doing like drag and drop really really easy here into Canva so uh, I'm gonna hit now into portfolio I'm gonna try to zoom this a little bit more and uh, let's go for this actual name I'm gonna delete it and put it here my Express uh, campaign. Let's go for marketing, marketing expertise. And instead of 20, let's go for 2020 and 2023. So there we go. So now, uh, if you think that we we need to stick around with what we have here, you can uh, change, for example, the color. So instead of choosing this green military one, I can go here into add a new color. And instead of choosing this one, let's go for something a little bit more bluer. There we go. It looks a little bit more interesting, right? So then later on, we'll be using elements. Now, elements are going to be helping me to make this a little bit look more creative. Let's say, for example, this hand is actually looking not so good. So I'm going to just delete it. And then later on, I'm going to add something else. So I can go here into elements. And this is the part where I wanted to drag and drop elements that I wanted to see here into my actual uh, document for example this actual hand is actually looking great so if you think that you can use this or you wanted to have some related things about this actual hand i go into see all i click into the element that i wanted to see go for the three dots and go for see more like this this one should be taking me into more related products that I can use once again totally for free if you have the Canva Pro version. So in my case, I think that I want to stick around with this uh, element. I want to leave it like this. I'm make this a little bit more smaller. And there we go. So by default, this actually is like this one is trying to change, replace one image to another because I don't want to focus that a lot. So I'm just going to change the position if you wanted to into the background. Let's say, for example, like this. And there we go. So, as you can see, now we do have the very first part of our portfolio being created, right? So now let's focus into add a new page. 
And here, if you wanted to copy and paste your all your actual template, you can do that. If you wanted to use another template, you can do that as well. So let's go for templates. I'm going to change for portfolio once again and look out for another stuff that I can use into my second page, for example, this one. So instead of choosing these new name portfolio, let's say that I want to go for uh, media post like that. I wanted to change, of course, the same colors that I used before. The best about this actual Canva is that we can import it, the, dark, the colors that we used before previously. So as you can see, it's the same actual color matching here. So I want to change this for the same white color that we chose here. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my actual title. And there we go. So now that we have successfully done that, I wanted to once again create a new page. And here I wanted to get started with my new elements. So if you focus here into your template starting to live hot, which is more like this, it's going to be showing you more stuff related into what you have just imported. So if I choose, for example, this guy, I just needed to delete, let's say, for example, this element. And instead of choosing like this guy, I wanted to add like my own photos, depending on what I'm actually creating. Let's say, for example, that I'm a graphic designer and I wanted to add like a few posters or I could wanted to add like a flyers or like a some media post or whatever. So this is the part where you wanted to just fill as much information as you can only feature the most and the best practices that you have done so far. If you're a graphic designer, for example, like wanted to add like the, like the most or like the best stuff that I created for like a logos, for like some branding, let's say like for some flyers, like some media posts that I have just created, some reels, some TikTok videos, whatever. So this is the part where I wanted to just add all my elements and then later on I can hit now into continue. Once you finish creating your actual Canva project, just go into show, go into download, and here into download, what you wanted to do is to choose the file type. You wanted to look out for a PDF standard file because this is like the best way to share documents and emailing. Let's go for all the pages to choose all your pages and hit into download. Once this one has been downloaded successfully, and there we go. So now I'm going to go into double click my actual document to check it out. This one, this one is actually working. How it's going to be looking my PDF document. And there we go. So as you can see, it's not that hard to create an actual portfolio. And if you wanted to add like more elements and you wanted to go and add, let's say, for example, like a design of a portfolio and blend it or mix that with something else, you can actually do that is a lot to do what you it is actually allowed to do what you wanted to do here. And once again, you don't have to stick around with the colors and the elements that appears into the document that you chose. You can totally change that for the colors that you wanted to and make this, um, make the portfolio yours. That's the reason why we use a template because we wanted to use this template and make it ours. We wanted to use it to demonstrate, to tell people who we are through our work. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this was a very useful information for you. Now you guys know how to get started creating an actual portfolio using Canva. And uh, so be a lot of creative here. Add like the best work you have there. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys. And well, with that being said, I think I'll see you on the next video, guys. See you soon.